Today on Strange Places, we visit a gigantic abandoned factory. Max and Lord Explorers disguise themselves as electrical workers to gain access into the tunnel system to get inside. The factory manufactured various machines, including computers and ancient electrical devices. But the Explorer does not go without incident. An unidentified drone spots us and begins tracking us. Guys, there was a drone? All this and more on this episode of Strange Places. Hello, and welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare adventure. And I am your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we are going to be checking out a gargantuan abandoned factory built in the early 20th century. So if you haven't already, please go down there right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. It really helps me out a lot, and here's the best part. You'll be able to see Strange Places videos. The moment they come out, so go down there right now, it will take you five seconds. And now we take you to this incredible, gigantic abandoned factory on Strange Places. This this whole area is like an abandoned downtown. That's how big it is. Just look at how look at how big this place is. Like the size of this is like the size of a ghost town. Bro, like, I do not. I do not. This used to be a vat of hydrochloric acid. This is like the size of an abandoned city. This looks like an abandoned downtown. Okay, so we're still looking for a way inside. But surely not all the entrances can be boarded up in an enormous factory like this one. Everything is boarded up, literally everything. So guys, we're still trying to get into this place. Everything's boarded up. I've never seen a place on lockdown like this before. And it's huge. I don't know how they boarded up the entire thing. In a last ditch effort, we thought we'd try our luck at the tallest and largest building at the factory. And it worked. After an hour of rigorous exploration of the outside, we had finally found a way in. And we quickly made some interesting finds. Microchips and they all look the same. Circuit boards and computer boards. Wow. More keyboards. This is what they made here. More computer chips. That is so cool. We're going in the tunnels, guys. So, guys, it's time for a tunnel adventure. My main objective of the tunnel exploration was to find out if the underground tunnels led to the other buildings that we could not gain access to from the outside. The tunnel led me straight to another building. It was underground and it led me to this building. And this is where our first exploration of the factory ends. we had to leave the factory, but we had a plan to come back the next time. Because this factory is so secure, everything is boarded up, we assumed that our old entrance would be boarded up by the next week, which is when we got back there. And that entry point was kind of a pain in the ass, we had to make a very tight squeeze, so we just decided to use the tunnel. The way we would do it is disguise ourselves as some sort of maintenance crew, go out in the open, lift a manhole cover up, and get into the tunnels. Now it's time for our second attempt at the factory, where we explored so much more, and went into such great detail and depth. So guys, I'm here, and I'm about to buy one of these safety vests. LOL, that's the only thing I have to say. Back at the factory, we set our insane plan into motion. Okay guys, we're in the perimeter of the factory. You can see it behind me. We're about to disguise ourselves. I got this safety vest, 
And also this <laughs> this hard hat that I found like right on the sidewalk of, a, of an abandoned power plant. It was such a lucky find. I'm in, I'm in the disguise now. We're gonna head in the tunnels and repair some cords and stuff, right? My name is Jack Johnson. Yes, I know that my birth my birth name was John Johnson. Jack Johnson, the lead supervisor of Midwest Power Generations uh, rip maintenance crew. There we go. That's my story if anyone asks me. Jack Johnson. Head of Midwest Generations Maintenance Crew. And this is my assistant electrical engineer, Harold Johnson. No relation. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how tiny Lord Explorers looks. this hat back on. I've officially transformed from Jack Johnson back into Max Power. Yeah, it should be. Now we're in. Even the inside of the factory was secure. The first three floors were heavily boarded. However, the fourth floor was wide open, so we ventured inside. This floor was cluttered with machinery, jam-packed with devices and spare parts from varying eras. The purposes of some of these machines were mysterious. Other objects were modern and familiar, such as the keyboards and computer monitors. Here we are at the fourth or fifth floor. Um, this is the first floor that we could actually get into because it wasn't boarded up. The doorway was not boarded up, so we could just walk right in. Um, there's a lot of old computer stuff. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Crates, computer monitors. Um, it's pretty decayed, and there's no graffiti. Not too many people come here. Guys, I have foreseen my own death. Going too close to there, sliding off into the frickin' elevator shaft. Look at how icy this is. <laughs> and you can just literally slip and fall into the damn elevator shaft. So I'm gonna stay as far away from there as I can. Oh, it's like a milling tool? yeah. I have no idea what it is, but it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening. While the astonishing fourth floor held our attention for quite a while, it was time to explore the rest of the building. Guys, we're at the top of the office building. 
are on, on the roof almost. We think these are these were offices over here. So we're gonna try to find another way into the rest of the buildings. And right now the, the most promising way looks to be this this sky bridge over here. Um, we're gonna try to get in there. But look at how big this factory is. You can see almost everything from here. This just kind of gives you an idea of how massive this factory is. So guys, this is kind of funny. The way we got in the first time has been boarded up. We were here <laughs> it was like a couple a days ago. Yeah, I know. It was like a tiny little slot like a week ago. We like squeezed through this little slot and now it's been boarded up. You still see our footprints. See those? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you can see our footprints. I went up the staircase to see the water tower at the top of the building, and that's when we spotted the drone hovering right over us. What, what the f oh, Guys, there was a drone that just, <laughs> just flew over us. So we have no idea who was operating that drone. See, I don't, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's anyone after us because it was just a consumer. It was just a Mavic. But it could be for security purposes because they can't get in here. Maybe they're looking for us. Let's shoot it out of the sky. <laughs> Is it looking for us? Does it see us? Oh, there it is. Hear it? What the f are you doing, buddy? You see it? Yeah. Where? Wait, don't don't come over here. Okay, so guys, we're just taking precautions right now. Just in case it is security, we're gonna go into the tunnels. In order to evade security, we made a hasty retreat into the tunnels. Yeah, it was this way behind me. Okay, we're in the tunnels again. Oh, God. Yo, we could walk on the pipes, though. In order to deal with the partial flooding, we decided to walk on the pipes above the water. And then we got this ice here, but it's... Let's we'll see what happens if I put just a little pressure on it. Yeah, oh, it starts to bad. break. When we made it into the other building, we found that the ice was thick enough to walk on. I tested the thickness with this hammer. That was hellish. After traveling through about 120 yards of cramped tunnels, we made it into the adjacent building. We're in the other building now, we just went through the tunnels. That's where we just came from. That building. It's been a football field long, so we went through 100 yards of tunnels to get into this building. This building was a local power plant that generated electricity for the entire factory. And unlike modern power plants, they paid close attention to beautifying this building with incredible architecture. to get a better view of the factory from the roof. We gotta find a way into those other buildings. There's a great view of the main building right here. This is really cool. My goal for the next 20 minutes is to try to find the stupid skywalk. The skywalk thing that will connect us to the other buildings. 
I found the fucking skywalk. No! It's boarded! No! It's a good thing we have tools for this situation. Say hello to my little friend! I was thinking use those windows and then climb onto that thing, but the problem is there's it's a slanted roof and you can just slide off and freaking die. <sighs> so guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I am your host, Max Power. See you next time on Strange Places.